Setting up the inverter TIG machine before striking an arc, make sure your setup is correct. Here is step-by-step. Step. 1. Connect the torch. Attach the TIG torch to the negative terminal for DC in welding steel and stainless steel. 2. Attach the work clamp to positive terminal. Connect the ground clamp to the workbench or workpiece. 3. Connect shielding gas. Secure the gas hose to the regulator and machine. Use pure argon for most TIG welding jobs. 4. Install tungsten. Use the correct tungsten size and type for your metal. Here we are using 2.4 lanthanated blue tungsten for gas flow rate. Set your argon flow between 5 to 10 liters per minute. Too low and you'll get porosity. Too high and the arc can become unstable. Now to TIG weld mild steel or stainless steel, set mode in DC for trigger, 2T for press on and off, or 4T for automatic. The filler rods for mild steel ER70S and for pure stainless steel 316. Now for gas preflow set to 0.5 to 1 second. Start amp 20. Peak amp 110. Coes, we are welding 5 millimeter plate in T joint. Finish amp 20. Post flow between 5 to 10 seconds to protect the weld and tungsten after the arc stops. All set up, so let's start welding. Setting up your TIG welding inverter machine correctly is the key to achieving clean, precise, and strong welds. Understanding your machine's functions and how to fine-tune the settings will take your welding to the next level. This ultimate guide will walk you through the essential steps, from setup to dialing in the perfect weld. Thanks for watching. Like, follow, share, and subscribe. Until then, keep safe.